The cattle operation is actually a pretty big part of our cropping system. We will graze, do aftermath grazing on our corn residue um, in the fall of the year when the, we bring the cattle home from pasture and the corn crop is harvested. The cattle will graze any excess residue as well as any um, grain that maybe was missed by the combine. Between them chewing up the residue and, and, and their hoof action in the residue, it helps us manage our residue on, on the soils. Not all of our cover crops get grazed. Uh, a lot of our land doesn't have water availability for cattle to drink. You know, it, it's for us an added bonus if we can graze cattle on the cover crops, but we still do see the benefit even if we can't. Because there's a lot of uh, nutritional value in the turnips and the radish and the rye, as well as if you included peas or lentils. The cattle also need some fiber in their diet, and they're able to use the fiber from the corn residue to balance their diet. So we've used rotational grazing on our acres for probably five or six years now. With using a rotational grazing, we're able to increase our stocking rates on those areas because the cows are grazing everything rather than selecting just certain grasses to eat or just trampling across everything just to get to a certain grass. In our rotational grazing system, uh, it's pretty typical for our cattle to get rotated every five days. Um, it may be a little less, maybe a little bit more, depending on uh, the area of the, of the pasture, um, you know, how they've grazed it down, but uh, uh, we change uh, where we start the cattle out from year to year. Sometimes with the exception, if we do have a paddock that uh, maybe has a weed such as uh, foxtail barley, we'll graze those paddocks earlier uh, since that weed is palatable then rather than waiting when that weed is not palatable. By increasing uh, our stocking rates and including another pasture, we ran two herds together. The initial issue that we had was trying to keep enough water to those cows in the summer. In this situation, we added more water holding capacity. We also ran rural water. Uh, prior to that, we had either windmills, uh, stock dams, uh, artesian water, and uh, none of them really could hold up to, to that many cattle drinking at once. The biggest investment uh, into moving into rotational grazing would be the fencing. Uh, in some operations, they move their fence as they move their cattle. We have a two to three strand electric fence out. Uh, we just rotate them between the paddocks without having to move any fence. 